Hello and welcome to another episode. <laughs> I am a drone enthusiast, so please excuse my enthusiasm. <laughs> well, today I got the pair of Naffy out here and I'm going to show you how you can get more out of this camera. Okay, we're talking about photo bracketing today. I'm going to show you how to use it. Okay, we're going to take it up here. We're going to take some photos and then we're going to go back to the office and I'm going to show you how to work with it in a program such as Photoshop or any type of photo editing software that will accommodate for HDR photos. Now, if this is your first time here, welcome to the Gadget Inspector channel where we're into all kinds of drones and all kinds of gadgets. If you're into that kind of stuff, you are in the right place, my friend. Please consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to click the bell. That way you'll know when I upload new videos. All right then, let's get it. Okay, let's go ahead and get right in the air here. All right, precise home set. So we're good to go. All right, I'm just gonna let the Anafi hover just for a second or two here, just to make sure everything is copacetic. Okay. <laughs> All right, thanks for stopping by the channel uh, today, you guys. Glad you're here. Okay, so let's just go ahead and take it on up. And the sun is at our back. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna take some photos facing away from the sun. And then I'm also gonna take some into the sun as well. Okay, we're gonna do some photo bracketing. Okay, so just a word about what photo bracketing is. What's gonna happen here, let me get up, get up here. Oh, that's a nice shot right there already, huh? Check that out. Okay, so photo bracketing. Let me show you this. I'm going to stop the video camera to show you. Okay, this is how you get to it. You just go to your photos, right? And you go over from single, burst, and then there's bracketing. Click on that. Now you'll see three photos, five photos, and seven photos. Three photos, this is the simplest way to explain it. What you're going to see, what the drone is gonna do, it's gonna take three photographs. It's gonna take one that is normally exposed, that's at zero, right? It's gonna take one that is underexposed by one, so you, that's minus one, and it's gonna take one photo that is overexposed by plus one, okay? So it's bracketed. Now obviously with five photos and seven photos, the bracketing is a little bit wider. So minus two, minus one, zero, plus one, plus two, et cetera, et cetera, right? Okay, so that's the concept. Okay, so first off, this is a different day. <laughs> so sorry about the continuity issue, but uh, you may have noticed that my shots were overexposed. The zebras were just pretty much um, showing that the sky was blown out. And that's because I usually fly with a uh, filter, an ND filter mounted on the Anafi, um, but I didn't have the filter mounted last time uh, and all of my settings were still in manual. So all of the bracketed shots that I took, they were all overexposed. They were all the same exposure. So anyway, nonetheless, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna do it again. Uh, so we are in bracketing mode here. We're gonna do three photos. The first photo is going to be a single shot for comparison. So there's our single shot. Now we'll switch over to bracketing and we'll take a bracketed photo now. I think we've got some decent framing here. Okay, let's go ahead and take a single shot. There's our single shot. Okay, and 
here is our bracketed shot i really wish the app gave you some type of audio feedback when you take photos okay we're gonna swing around now we're gonna face away from the sun now and take some shots facing away from the sun oh it's beautiful huh look at that and we've got some nice colors in there too okay All right, let's get on back to the uh, to the office and we'll start playing around with these photos and uh, see what we can do. All right, so we're about to get into Photoshop, but first, why do photo bracketing in the first place? Why do it? What's the point? Um, first, let me say I'm not a professional photographer or whatever. Y'all probably like, yeah, we know, okay? You don't have to say that, dude. <laughs> anyway. What I'm trying to say is this is all based on my experience with doing this. So why do you do it? I usually take a bracketed photo when I'm in a high contrast uh, condition. So the sky is bright, the ground is dark, usually when the sun is going down, right? Um, lighting conditions aren't ideal. So I'll do a bracketed photo because what it does is it's, it's just widening your dynamic range. OK, so you'll be able to pull more detail out of those dark areas, out of the shadows and pull more detail out of the highlights or the light areas. OK, so that's why you do it. OK, so uh, another thing I notice is with these HDR photos, high dynamic range photos, you get a really unique look uh, as well. OK, let's get up in Photoshop and let me show you how to get this done. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and grab some of the photos that we took uh, during our flight. I pulled some out here. So let's see, let's go ahead and grab these. So I'm gonna go ahead and select these three and open them. Okay, so those open right in Photoshop here. Now this one, this is the even exposed photo right here. Nope, this one is it. I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna organize them. Okay, so this is plus one, this is even, this is minus one. Okay, plus one, even, uh, minus one. Okay, so keep that in mind. All right, what you're gonna do, you're just gonna come up here to File, go to Automate, and then go to Merge to HDR Pro, okay? If you've never seen this, you know, you're going to see how super simple this is. OK, now when this window opens up, you're just going to click on add open files. It's just going to pull these files that are open in Photoshop into this uh, little table here. OK, click OK. OK, now those photos have been merged and this is what you get here. OK, there's a function here called remove ghosts. Um, what this is intended to do is to remove any ghosting caused by movement. So you're taking three, taking three photos, right? And this is a drone. So you likely may have some movement in the trees or something like that. And what remove ghost is supposed to do is take away some of that movement that you'll see. Now I, I've tried it and I've noticed that it really doesn't help. It changes the way the photo looks a little bit. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that off, but I wanna point that out as an option. Let me actually go ahead and click on it so you can see what happens though and see for yourself. See that, it seems like it takes away some of the detail. So I'm gonna remove that. Okay, and then you have these presets here. You can even go in and you can add some saturation right there, but I'm gonna leave it as is so that we can do some comparisons. Okay, and I'm pretty much done there. Let's click okay. Okay, so here's our merged photo. And this is the even exposure. So this is, if you if you go up and take a photo with the Anafi in auto, in those conditions at that time where I was, this is what the photo would look like. 
and this is what the HDR photo looks like. Okay, I'm going to give you a side by side here in a second, but let's do another one. Let's go ahead and grab another one and do it, okay? Okay, same idea. Automate, merge to HDR Pro. Now it's going to grab everything that's open here, so we're going to deselect those first three. Two, three, remove. Okay, so we have the ones we want. Click OK. Okay, so here's our merged photos. Again, just to give you a sense of what it'll look like with some saturation, I'm gonna pull that out because we're gonna be comparing. Click OK. Okay, so here's the HDR photo. There's the even photo, our evenly exposed photo. There's the HDR photo. So you can clearly see that there is uh, detail here in the sky as well as the ground but in this shot it's trying to expose for both the sky and the ground and so we're losing detail in each place we have more in the sky but it's blown out here and it's it's super dark in here the Sun was going down so we were losing light but you can see the difference here now you can also go up here and you can make some adjustments so you can bump up your saturation that looks good I'm just doing this real quick you can even make some adjustments I would probably pull this into Lightroom because Lightroom gives you a little more control uh, but you can go in and do something like this maybe make make some slight adjustments like so to even bring bring it out even more so just wanted to show you that. All right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna give you side by side so you can really see the difference. I'm gonna give you a side by side of the photo that you would get if you just take a regular single shot uh, in auto mode versus the shot you're gonna get when you use photo bracketing. Okay, let's check it out. 